This is the fourth in the series of videos introducing CISO tool in newer versions of MATLAB. So why are we doing it? Because there's been a relatively major change in the presentation and functionality of CISO tool in new versions of MATLAB. This resource is going to give a quick overview of how you can use the tool for things like lead and lag compensator design. Principally, we're going to demonstrate the graphical placement tools for poles and zeros. We're not teaching you how to do design, we're teaching you how to use CISO tool. But also, we'll make it clear the ease with which fine tuning can be done after you've used the graphical placement, and fine tuning is usually done with a compensator editor. Real-time demonstrations are given at the end of the video to show how quickly you can do a lag design without any numeric calculations. This resource then assumes a simple feedback structure as follows. So we've got a system G of S, a compensator M of S, a target R, and things like input U and output Y. So warning on preferences. CISO tool can display compensators in various standard forms and you need to decide which form works for you and that will depend upon um, which lecture you've got and what design method you're using. It may change the underlying proportional gain when you enter a pole or zero. So that's a problem with CISO tool. You add a pole and it changes your proportional gain. You add a zero and it changes your proportional gain. So you need to be aware of this and override it when necessary. So ensure you always display the implied compensator and check that it has the values that you intended. For this resource, we're going to use pole zero format because that works well with lead and lag design. So the first thing you need to do is select this option via preferences and we'll show you that next. So if you look at the standard CISO tool window, you'll notice right over here on the right there's a preferences button. So the first thing to do is select. When you do that, you'll get a window a bit like this and what you do is go to the tab which says options and under that tab you'll see there's a number of different display formats for compensators. Now the one we're going to use is zero pole so you'll see that that's now been selected. Now if you select that when you open the compensator editor window you'll see that the compensators are now displayed in pole zero form. And that's useful because if you've designed a compensator, you can look in this editor and you can check. Does it look like what I expect or is there an obvious error? Lag compensator design then. So we're going to go through this briefly, not because we're teaching lag compensator design, but because we want a basis for our illustrations. So for the sake of simplicity, this video is going to use a very simple design procedure, which is we're using the lag to increase low frequency gain by a factor of 5. So this is how you might do it. First, find the gain K to set the phase margin to be 60 degrees. And you'll remember that 60 degrees is somewhat arbitrary, but it's good enough for a systematic design. Next, determine the gain crossover frequency, omega g. Then set the zero of the lag to be omega g over 10 and set the pole of the lag to be omega g over 50 and this without changing the underlying k. So your compensator is given by the following formula. k times s plus omega g over 10 divided by s plus omega g over 50. And pretty much that compensator will increase your low frequency gain by a factor of 5 while retaining a phase margin close to 60 degrees. So we're going to demonstrate the use of CISO tool to support this design method and show how quick and easily it can be done. So steps one and two. This is the same as the procedure demonstrated in the previous video where we used drag of the bowed game plot in order to get a phase margin of 60 degrees. And you'll see we've already done that. There's our phase margin of 60 degrees and we've done that by simply dragging the game plot up and down. And when we do that, you'll see we get a gain of 1.65. So there, if we open the compensator editor, you can see the gain that has been found by CISO tool for you. You will also see 
that the gain crossover frequency is about 0.97. So I remember those two values. Those are the two values we needed in our design, the K and the omega G. And you'll remember our design was given by this formula. So steps three and four. Basically, what you need to do is enter the values into CISO tool. So what I've done is I've simplified it slightly because having lots of decimal places really makes little difference. So you'll see the compensator is roughly S plus 0.1 over S plus 0.02. So now what I want to do is enter this into CISO tool. So we're going to demonstrate the graphical placement tool in the root loci plot to place poles and zeros at approximately the correct places. In fact, we're using the bode plot here. So you'll see what we do is we go onto the bode plot and if you right click, one of the options that comes up is select real pole. And if you do that, you'll find a floating cross which you can place wherever you like. And when you select the mouse, it will put it onto the bode plot. When you right click, you will also get the option to select real zero and then you can put it where you want it. So you'll see what I've done here is I've put these pretty close to 0 0.02 and 0 0.001, which are, is that the right value? So I've not said that correctly, but anyway, you get the point. Um, I've put them pretty much where I wanted them to be. And now you can see if I open the compensator editor, because I've used the graphical placement tool, they're not exactly where I wanted them to be, but they're pretty close. Now, the other thing you'll notice is the pole zero are not close, but the gain has been changed significantly. So remember we said that CISO tool has this issue where it changes the K without telling you. So what you're going to have to do is go into this box and put your 1.65 back in. So I've done that here. Now, if you want to get an exact design, you can, of course, put the values directly in to the compensator editor. So you'll see here I've highlighted pole and I can put the pole value directly in there. Don't forget the minus sign because of course this is technically a left half plane pole. How about doing a design then without explicitly computing any values for k and omega g? And this is where you get the real benefit of CISO tool. I don't have to do any of this offline computation and writing down k of s and remembering the numbers. So this is how we do it. We'll do a live demonstration, but first we'll give you the basic method. Use drag of bode to get a desired phase margin. So you see no calculations here. I've just used a drag of the bode plot. Next, add a zero a decade below the gain crossover frequency. So you can see the gain crossover frequency on the plot and therefore adding a zero a decade below is straightforward. Then add a pole to the left of the zero. Now here we want the ratio to be five. So as long as you can see where the pole is, you can add a zero, which is a ratio of five less. And then finally, modify your gain plot again using drag to get your phase margin back to about 60 degrees. And then you'll find that this compensator is pretty much the compensator that you wanted. So we'll give a live demonstration. So here's our CISO tool, and you remember the first thing that we had to do was make sure our preferences were correct. So I'll go here with the tab says control system, go across to the right, look in preferences, and then you'll remember we said go to the tab which said options, there it is, and you'll see the default was time constant form, and we want pole zero form. So I press OK, and now it will be in pole zero form. Okay, the next step was to get a 60 degree phase margin. So I select the bode gain plot, you see the hand, and then move it down until I get about 60 degrees. That's close enough, about 60 degrees. And you can see that the crossover frequency is 0.438. Now, I'm going to select the bode editor window, because that's one way of doing it. And remember, the first thing was to say I want the zero to be a decade below 0.438. So in other words, I want the, the zero to be roughly 0 0.04. So what you need to do is look at these scales and say, where is 0 0.04? Well, there's one, 
10 to the minus 1 is 0.1, 10 to the minus 2 is 0 0.01, so 0 0.04 is going to be this dotted line along here. So it's roughly this point here. So if you remember that, so I take my 0, there it is, and now I'm going to put it at roughly 0 0.04, there it is, I click, and there it's added it for me. So I've now got my zero at roughly the position I wanted. Now don't worry about the fact that these plots have gone all over the place. That's because I've only added a zero. Now if I take my pole next, where did I want the pole? I wanted the pole to be roughly a factor of five below the zero. Now if you can't see very clearly, you can always use the zoom. So let's put the zoom in, just to make it a bit easier. So first of all, I've not got that zero quite where I wanted, which was 0 0.04. So let's just move it a bit to the right. There we are. That's a bit closer to where I wanted it to be. So that's 0 0.04. Now a factor of 5 below that is going to be pretty close to 0 0.01 or just below. So let's get a pole and let's put it on roughly here. OK, so that's about a factor of 5. OK, so that's again, that's slightly more than I wanted, so somewhere around there. Now, it's not perfect, but you'll see it's pretty much what I wanted. So next, what I'm going to do, because I um, is see if we can get these plots back to the normal scale. And you'll notice, if you didn't look, the gain has changed a bit. And you'll see, we actually want the phase margin to be over here somewhere at about 60 degrees. So I select the cursor again. And now what I'm going to do is pull the game plot up a bit and there you can see move the phase margin across and there we go so the phase margin 58 degrees is pretty much 60 degrees and what I can see is the gain crossover frequency is roughly a decade from the zero I put in which is what I want and the pole is roughly a factor of five below so I've not done any numeric calculations but I've got my lag compensator roughly where I want it So, we didn't do this, but this is just a note. Poles and zeros can also be dropped directly into the root loci plot if you find that easier. So, conclusion. The video has demonstrated the basic use of the drag and drop facilities in CISO tool in MATLAB 2016 for doing lag compensator design. Clearly, a lead design is equivalent, except you have different rules. We've used drag in the game plot to allow you to get desired phase margin very quickly and we've used drop in the bode game plot or the root loci to allow poles and zeros to be placed with the mouse rather than using an exact computation. The edit compensator window can be used for fine tuning if you want so you just open the edit compensator window and you can make the values precise.